morning guys it's sunday today i wasn't planning on vlogging but actually i figured let's just do it i've got an empty house because mike's taken the kids to their like sunday morning clubs um and i'm just gonna blitz the house because you know what it's like in the summer holidays the house is messy there's just stuff everywhere believe it or not this time last week my house was spotless it was a dream now not so much so i thought i'd just vlog take you around the house with me while i'm sorting a few things out that gives me the motivation to do it and hopefully if you need to do something like that too it might give you the motivation too also got a haul to show you so stay tuned for that i'll go through and do that soon um but yeah doing this house seems like such a big job right now but i know i will feel so much more relaxed tidy house tidy mind and all of that when it's done so i'm gonna go and make a coffee <laughs> have something to eat because I haven't eaten yet um, and get going. So I've just made myself my coffee. I'm gonna quickly drink this. Honestly, there's just stuff everywhere in my house. I don't actually know how much time I've got to work with because I'm not sure what time the kids are gonna come back. I think Mike will probably pop into his parents' house on the way back from like the gym, which is where the kids go to our clubs. Um, yeah, I'm guessing a couple of hours. I always find that's the best way to like get stuff done is to kind of give myself a bit of a time limit, whether that's a couple of songs while I'm cleaning the bathroom or setting a timer um, or watching a speed clean video or something like that. It's kind of my best practice when it comes to blitzing the house. But yeah, I'm going to give myself a couple of hours to get it done. No, oh, that's not a good coffee. <laughs> There's quite a few delivery bags around the house at the minute because I'm trying to get prepared for back to school already. I know we've still got like five weeks <laughs> until the kids go back, but I'm just trying to get organised, you know, I'm trying to get ahead of myself so I'm not doing that mad last minute rush. Um, so if you need the reminder to do that, do it. So I've actually got this huge box here from Cherries, which I'm going to take you through. There is so much stuff inside um, and I think you guys love <laughs> this kind of thing. So the reason for me doing this haul right this minute is because most of the stuff that I need to clean the house is actually inside the box. I had a really big shop on cherries just to restock some of my favourites, new things for the kids for back to school and just for some general like personal hair things. If you don't know what Cherries is, Cherries is actually a really cool shopping app that has really good savings on products like groceries, personal care items, back to school stuff, garden things, really, really easy to use, amazing prices, good delivery, um, and I really enjoy using it. It's very like user friendly. Um, I've got loads of stuff here <laughs> to show you guys. I'm not going to go through the prices of every single product because I will be here all day if I do that but what I'll do is I'll pop them below in the description box and I will also give you a discount code at the end um, so stay tuned for that because it's really worth holding on for. So as I mentioned earlier I'm having a real like back to school moment trying to get organised, trying to get a few things in the house ready for September. Um, first of all starting with new sports bottles for the kids um, i picked these up on the app one for each of the children for their lunch boxes i'm gonna put them away because there's something about the kids finding out they've got a new water bottle they want to use it all the time and i know that by the time september rolls around these will be battered <laughs> and used loads and i'd rather them go back to school in september with new ones so i'm gonna pop these away um, i really like the size of them too and i love that the straw goes right to the bottom. I know that's such a lame mum thing, but how many bottles do you buy and the straw ends like here? I'm really pleased, oh, <laughs> really pleased with that. Next up, I've bought loads of stationery for the children. One for the summer holidays because the weather's rubbish and they're just like craft mad at the minute. Um, and also because, because of the pandemic, um, the kids at school aren't actually allowed to like mix stationary with each other they've got to have their own like individual pencil cases so I've just bought a few bits just to pop into a pencil case for Harrison and then just a few cool little things for Everly so I've got some little highlighters um in cute pastel colours I really like these I think Everly's going to be thrilled with them as will she be thrilled with these stickers these are her favourite kind of stickers to use the peel back ones um so she'll be a very happy girl. I've got a little pack of pencils um, for both of the kids, just in a mixture of colours. They're just standard pencils um, with rubbers on the end. But I figured they would be handy. And 
a set here of pens. So here's some brush markers, some colouring fibre pens and some magic markers. The kids recently discovered magic markers and they're obsessed. So they're going to love these. And then for Harrison, who has just started writing in pen, I got him these retractable ballpoint pens <laughs> um, for him to use and to practice his writing at home. Some Peppa Pig stickers to keep Everly busy over the summer holidays. This is really good just to keep in my bag if we're out and about, when we're in a restaurant and stuff, just to keep her occupied. And then I got Harrison some gel pens too. I remember getting gel pens when I was younger. I was obsessed. I remember having like a whole tray of them, scented ones. I was obsessed with them. Um, so I think he'll be really thrilled to have these in his um, pencil case. I also picked up this miniature set of colouring pencils. Again, really handy just to keep in my bag. I know a lot of restaurants used to give them out, um, but they don't anymore because of the pandemic. So I picked up some tiny ones just to keep inside my bag. Um, just a random mum thing and a pencil sharpener for Harrison. When September rolls round, I know that we're going to have no paints and stuff left. So I did a little restock on some paints ready for homework projects. Yay! Um, I just did a restock on these. These were like £1.50 or £2 each. Um, and I really like the colours, particularly these two. <laughs> Some random back to school things that I bought are these Peppa Pig um, hand and face wipes. I thought this would be quite handy just to put into Everly's little um, book bag. <laughs> just for like before and after school, like en route. Um, just as a, you know, just in case. Um, and she's going to really like having these in her bag. Um, she loves like having a little bag with stuff. And then freezer bags um, for packed lunches and things. These are actually a lot bigger than I thought they were when I ordered them. But I love them. I ordered these for the kids' lunch boxes. My children don't love sandwiches in their lunch boxes. But they do love a good old pasta or something like that. Maybe rice. So I got these. Um, I love that they've got little handles too. I'm tempted to order more of these, I think, just for at home. They were £1.50 each, which I think is really reasonable. Um, and yeah, just a nice, I mean, who doesn't love Tupperware? Moving on now to more like cleaning stuff, snacks, and just bits. Um, I picked these up on Cherry. Um, I promised Evelyn that we're going for a little picnic soon once the weather brightens up. So I just picked these up. I thought these would be a nice little touch for her. I think we're going to invite one of her little friends along with us. Um, and I think she'll just really enjoy those. I bought these snacks with back to school in mind. But I am very conscious that we still have like five weeks left of the summer holidays. And the summer holidays mean that I have no food left in my cupboards. So I'm sure that these snacks will be eaten. But I'll show you what I got. Um, first of all, I got some fruit winders. The kids love these. This is like after school snacks and stuff. Also really good for lunch boxes just to pop in for a day out. Everly's favourite. She always wants this when we're in the supermarket. These are the strawberry and white chocolate flavour Cocoa Pops. These were much better price than the supermarket. So I picked these up and she's going to be thrilled <laughs> when she sees these. My kids are cereal mad, which is why I got this. Um, the good old classic Kellogg's variety pack. Um, these are really good for school morning. My children really love to do their own cereal and these kind of minimise the mess um, of like them trying to pour the big box. So yeah, got those. Got some Cadbury animal biscuits. These are the ones with Freddo because we are a sucker for a Freddo, which is why I'm pretty sure, yes. I got some Freddo bars too. I... I love these. I also got these. We love these little miniature bags for jammy dodgers. Um, again, really good for lunch boxes and stuff. I really love the selection of things that cherries have. Um, they're all like real like family favourites, I would say, but the stock is always like growing. So you do have a good old switch up of what they've got all of the time, so it's worth like keep looking. Um, but yeah, the kids will be really pleased to know that. Mum's restocked on the Jamie Dodgers. <laughs> and then last, where the snacks are concerned, are Pop-Tarts. Not necessarily for the children. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll know I love Pop-Tarts. I might actually have one in a minute. I just found some little googly eyes <laughs> for my craft. 
cupboard. Some personal care items I picked up are some plasters. Evie's very fussy about the plasters that she uses. So I got her some unicorn ones. She actually used one yesterday. Um, I'm not gonna pretend that this hasn't been opened because it, because it has. Um, but yeah, some unicorn plasters, which I must add were approved by Evely herself. Um, so winner there. I restocked on my Arnica cream um, because I'm that mum that basically takes a first aid kit on any day out. If we're ever at the park together and your kid scrapes their knee, bangs their head, whatever, don't worry, I've got you covered. Some Gillette Simply Venus razors. Cotton pads because you can never have too many. Some toothpaste for Harrison because he goes through toothpaste quicker than anything. His toothpaste ends up in the sink, down the bathroom unit or on the floor. So I had to get him a new one and this is just the Colgate Magic Toothpaste. Ooh, changes colour from white to blue as you brush. He will be impressed. And then one of Mike's favourites. This is much cheaper on the Cherries app than it is in other stores, shall we say. This is the Vaseline Essential Healing Body Lotion. Um, so he's gonna be chuffed that I got that. And then we're on to my area here, which is the stuff I actually need for today, um, my cleaning products. So first up, bathroom cleaner. Really needed this today. I'm running very low and the week that the kids have had playing outside in the rain, my bathroom is just, it's not a sparkly white as it was. I got another Astonish spray, this is the antibacterial surface cleaner. Um, tell me you haven't used so much antibacterial cleaner this year. <laughs> Some more black bags because we go through black bags a lot. Um, they're quite a talking point in my house, which is really sad. I realize that's really, really sad, but we're always on the hunt for like a stronger um, black bag. So hopefully this one ticks all of our boxes. I got a minky um, M cloth. This is for windows and glass. This is for upstairs in the bathroom on my shower screen. Um, and then I think, did I please say I did? Yes, I got a window spray because at the moment it's got a few watermarks on it. So I need to give it a good old clean. Hopefully this will do the trick. I got a new toilet thingy. What are these even called? Domestos Stream One Power. The things that clip onto the toilet, basically. Which my mind was recently blown from a TikTok video where I realised that I'd been clipping this onto my toilet wrong the whole time. Um, so I'm excited to put this onto the loo today. Got a new hand soap for the kitchen. Um, just because, to be honest with you, I don't think I needed one necessarily today. But I couldn't resist. I really love Method products and this is Vivid Watermelon, um, which I hadn't smelt before and I can confirm it smells delicious. More minky cloths because you can never have too many cleaning cloths. This probably should have gone in my back to school section because we all know school shirts don't stay white forever. Um, and this is just a stain remover bar by Elbow Grease. And um, you just rub it directly onto the stain and it works, it's magic. Um, this I've wanted to try for ages, but I really struggled to find it in the supermarkets, but I've heard amazing things and I'm really hoping for amazing things because you may know I have an iron. I don't really use it, never use it. Um, I've got a steamer that I'll use if I have to, but I'm hoping not <laughs> with this. The, the Lenore crease releaser removes creases in fabric. Um, I'm very excited to try this. Some new pegs for the garden because I'm dreaming of sunshine. I'm dreaming of hanging my sheets outside on the washing line. Um, so I treated myself to some new pegs. More toilet cleaner. How glam <laughs> does this haul get? Um, this is the pink stuff. I feel like the pink stuff is very, very popular and I'm yet to try their toilet cleaner. So I'm gonna give this a go today. I'll let you know. My two favourite fabric conditioners, the Comfort Intense fabric conditioner in Fuchsia Passion and Fresh Sky. I really hate running out of fabric conditioner, so I tend to buy two at a time. The old favourite fire cow, which I use in the kitchen, but I don't use in the bathroom because I've got black taps. And I've learned the hard way that this is too strong for those. Um, but yeah, fire cow, love it. And last but by no means least, some white vinegar spray by Star Drops. Um, so yeah, that is my haul. There's a lot of stuff here, I know. Lots of good stuff though, and I hope that you guys have found something that takes your fancy. 
I have got a discount code here for both new customers and existing customers, um, which I'm gonna read off on my phone, which generally I hate doing, but I don't wanna get it wrong. So for new customers, I have a code LAURAB25 for 25% off of your first order off of the web and the app, plus free shipping on your next three orders. And then have a code for existing customers, which is LAURAB for free shipping on your next three orders. So I hope that you do enjoy shopping. Let me know what you buy or are going to buy in the comments below. I'll list all of the products in um, my description box along with those codes for reference. And yeah, happy shopping. Having now looked at all of those cleaning products, the realization that I'm actually gonna have to go and clean now has hit. Um, so I'm gonna procrastinate for a minute and go and have a pop tart. So I'm gonna start here in the kitchen. This is a room that I spend the most time in but like the least. Um, but I'm gonna get it clean and tidy now. Um, put on a playlist, my favorite playlist to pop on at the minute is the Love Island acoustic album. So that's what's gonna go on and now. Okay Google, open Spotify. So I'm gonna pop that on now and start cleaning. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with too many feelings and rage We were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time Way back when we didn't care what they said I feel like my house is just full of like scooters, helmets, swimming stuff at the moment. And this is only here because Evie was playing with it in the garden. Oh god. So I've just put away all of the new arts and crafts bits, um, which is good. The kids are gonna be really excited to see all that when they get it all back out again. And actually I don't want it to come across like I'm moaning that the kids stuff's out. This is a family home. We have children, they have toys and I want them to play with their toys. I think so long as by the end of the day they're away and I have my like a tidy space to relax in, I'm good. Um, so actually I don't mind the kids stuff being everywhere. I really don't. They're my children and it's the holidays. So they're here having fun. But maybe I will just go and put these bits into the shed. <laughs> Way back when we didn't care what they said People could stare, I didn't give a damn Cause all I needed was my friend Way back when, way back when So I just heard from Mike, the kids are on their way back shortly um, So I didn't manage to full hours But I did get quite a lot done um, What you didn't see is me folding a load of washing which I'm really pleased that's done. Um, but these two rooms are done. I'm gonna go and do the living room now. And then when it comes to doing upstairs, I'm not gonna film it, but I will have extra hands. So this room isn't actually too messy right now. Yeah, there's stuff, but it's just where the kids hang out. So what was once a pretty chill vibe in this room is now like the place where the kids just hang out. Lily, my lovely little Barbie obsessive, has all of her Barbies here, um, which is fine. This is where Harrison plays his games. This is where he does all his gaming and stuff. Um, but, hmm. It is all very pink though, which is half the reason why I now have this huge print which I absolutely love up in here just because 
why not if we're gonna have a load of pink over in that corner we may as well have it here my mum and dad actually got me this for my birthday um and i love it something i do need to do in this room is spot clean the pink sofa now this sofa is um, velvet so i don't recommend this for everyone i tried it i took the risk and it works for us um but <laughs> a little bit of washing up liquid lathered together with some warm water works a treat at just getting out like little marks you have to give it a bit of I get a surprising amount of messages when people see that I've got a pink velvet sofa asking like how it keeps with kids and actually you know what it's fine. The other sofa we have what's called clever velvet um, and anything just kind of brushes off of it um, liquids and stuff. This doesn't have anything but you know what we've had it for four years now. To be honest it's doing well. Pretty sure I spent my whole life picking up Barbie shoes and bits. whilst Harrison's out and I'm cleaning in here I always take the opportunity to give like all of these controllers like an anti-back <laughs> so that is the Barbie <laughs> living room all done Thank goodness. I'm gonna call it a day on today's vlog because the kids are around the corner. They haven't pulled up yet, but they are around the corner. I promised Harrison that I'd play his game with him once he got in and just not much cleaning is gonna get done whilst they're here. I actually end up doing upstairs like around bedtime. Normally the bathroom gets done at bath time, which actually is quite a good thing to do. If you do buy anything from Cherries, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you bought and make sure you use the discount code too really good one um but yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys soon i've got a new vlogging camera coming which i'm really excited about because hopefully i'll feel more motivated with filming videos um but yeah take care and i'll see you guys soon